viewers welcome back and welcome to Nora Spot. Today, I think I believe this is episode 37. We've been making some pilau. I am known for my bombest pilau. I make the bombest bombest pilau. I don't complicate it. I just make it simple and it's so delicious. You want to make this one here. Yeah? And uh, I want to show you how to do it. I'll take you through how I do mine. But before we begin, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell to be notified when I do another video. And make sure to upload a video every single week. Yes? And if you're coming back again, you're a returning subscriber, you know I love you. I appreciate it and I appreciate you for it. So let's begin. I'll take you through my ingredients. Alright, so let's begin. These are the simple ingredients that I have. I'm not complicating this recipe. Uh, this is how I make it so simple. What I have is uh, rice, I have a beef, I have one onion. The secret to the best pilau is onions. Kitungu mingi ina karadha kwa pilau. But since I'm just using a little, like I'm using one cup of rice, I found myself running out. So I'll just choose one garlic and ginger. And then I'm using pilau masala. I use the tropical one. That's best. It's well seasoned. All the combination of different spices. I find them uh, well. Kiwango I mean, like the the portions are well. What what am I trying to say? I find it that they have um, balanced all the ingredients. Uh, the all the spices that make the tropical heat. Uh, pilau masala well balanced akuna ina overwhelm each other and then i have salt uh tomato paste and i have a secret ingredient that you will have to tune in so that you can see what it is and how i make it and why i use it all right so let's begin are you ready i hope you're right, ready so let's begin um first i'll start by frying the onions I'm going to make sure that they cook well until they are brown, not black, brown, so that our pilau doesn't become so bitter. Make sure kitungu yako haita bad. Once I see that the onions are browning like this, they have started to brown, at this stage is where I add the beef. The reason is to, why I do that is because I don't want my kitungu to umbua. So I add the beef and I don't, I normally don't boil my beef. The reason is um, I find that a lot of a lot of flavor is uh, wasted and the meat becomes so chewy. However, you can, if you boil your, your beef, you can as well go ahead and do it. Yeah? I let this cook and brown all together until it is at least it's a golden brown, both the meat and the tungu. Yeah. Yeah, so this is how you want it. Huh? Then I'm going to add the ginger and garlic paste. Allow this to cook. 
keep on checking and turning and stirring so that uh, everything is fine and things don't burn out. water you can kidogo so let it cook for another few minutes but keep checking all right so Next, I'm going to add the pilau masala. Just enough. Then I'll add uh, like a teaspoon of tomato paste. Some salt for the seasoning. And then I'll start this. I keep adding water, kidogo kidogo, to ensure that everything cooks well. Na vitu zisiungue, like kitu ungu isiungue sana ikue bita. And then, for the secret ingredients, you all be waiting for, is this, sugar. Yeah, sugar. I add a little bit of sugar uh, when I add the spices. Why you ask? Uh, the sugar neutralizes the bitter, bitterness of the spices, and my pilau does not become like curly or chungu because of sugar. Yeah, are you going to try it? I would try. Trust me, try it. Sugar is the secret ingredient. Kidogo too, just to balance off the the spices. Did you know this? <laughs> comment on the comment below and let me know if you knew this or you're shocked or um, you're going to try it. Yeah, so I'm going to allow this to cook for a little bit. I'll add a little bit of water so that the nyama and everything now can blend it together like this, like so, like so. Yeah, I'll give it a few minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to wash my rice. And then this is where now you want to be very careful. You want everything to blend well together so that all the flavors uh, come out. Like flavor zote zitokileze. So make sure upper you can even let it cook for like five minutes so that in choose it this this is what is coloring all your flavor so just make sure that it's blended well cooked like that you can add water but if you have some beef stock you can also add that like that you see this is what you're looking for So now I'm going to add the rice. I add the rice at this stage and um, stir in, and then later I add the what the water.
I'll give it like a two seconds and then now add my water. So I'm going to add water. My ratio is one cup of rice goes to two cups of water. Look at that brown, brown color. This is also where I test for salt. Let me make sure that I can achieve Because who wants to eat pilau? without salt hmm. not me yeah that's fine and then let it boil sorry guys my phone died but um, pilau is ready what you do once the rice starts to boil lower the heat and cover it and let it slow cook you can even put a foil on top of it and let the let it slow cook with the steam so this is ready look let me plate this and then see you later see let me plate this perfect this is perfect perfecto Alafu Pilau bila kachumbali si ni nini rasijui So of course make kachumbali 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 whatever It always comes out bomb, bomb most. Just try it. It's so delicious. Thank you so much for watching this video. I subscribed if you haven't subscribed. Um, I'll see you on my next video. <laughs> Joking. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like this video and subscribe if you haven't. Click the notification bell to be notified when I do another video which is next week. Until then, stay beautiful, stay blessed. Ciao. Ciao Bella Mama.